Hey guys, Chief from Spreadshot Games. Let's get into this pickups video. So, got some pretty nice stuff, especially today. Uh, nothing too super fancy. Well, stay tuned. We'll see what we got. But, on Craigslist, the guy was selling some video game guides. Figured I'd throw in my Metal Gear Solid Arsenal, the limited edition strategy guide for Snake Eater. It's got a bunch of art. It's got this fold-out uh, part with, uh, like a lot of art in it and stuff, but I actually have the regular one, but he was letting them all go for like five bucks a piece. I'm actually surprised at the amount of money that pretty much goes into some strategy guides. There's some like Japanese RPGs out there whose strategy guides goes for alone like $40 I've seen. But I know it's kind of weird to spend money on strategy guides now. Uh, with me, I think it's mostly like an art thing. Halo Wars was the next one I got. I actually got this because I'm, I don't play RTSs. I have Halo Wars. Uh, I need tips. I need strategies to beat this game to be good at it. Uh, I'm not even going to try the multiplayer because I know I'll get my ass handed to me. But it's nice to pick this up. Good to go in my Halo collection. So, I'm happy to have it. And then the last one, I picked this up for a friend, Lost Odyssey. This is going to go to my good friend, uh, Xander Scullion with XS Gaming Podcast. I think he got this game from one of his band members in, like, his Christmas special video he did. Uh, so, I thought of him when I saw this. I bought it off the guy, and then I texted him directly afterwards. I was like, you want this? And he's like, hell yeah. So, that's going to Xander. Uh, glad I could pick that up for him. Today, actually, I picked up some games from another good YouTube friend of mine, uh, Scuba Diver Picker. He was selling off some of his SNES games, and I picked up from him Super Mario Kart and Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. I know with all the Super Nintendo games I have, it's kind of weird that I don't have either one of these. But I didn't, and he gave me a pretty good deal on them, so thank you, John. I uh, think there might be a chasing video with him and I and possibly the Game, Chaper, Game Chasers USA, uh, John and Jeremy. Hopefully pretty soon. I think next weekend we're going to try to get something together, maybe the following weekend out of that. And I also want to thank Game Chasers USA for... Uh, subscribing to me that's really awesome to have you guys on board um hope you enjoy the content i like watching your stuff and john and i scuba we met up at a local game store to make this transaction and while i was in there i found this game troddlers i'm not sure i haven't looked it up yet it's by a weird development company and stuff the blockbuster stickers always kind of turn me on when I see them because it could possibly be that this was just a rental only game and I don't know how rare this game is but I'll have to look it up. It was super cheap so I picked it up. And then right after I was with uh, my good friend Scuba, leaving the parking lot I had emailed somebody on Craigslist that was selling a GameCube with a lot of games. Um, I think it was eight, ti yeah, eight titles in all. That were, that were all pretty solid titles, so I won't show the GameCube, but it was a silver one. It came with a first-party wired controller, a first-party wave bird that just didn't have the battery pack, a first-party memory card, and these eight games, which are Animal Crossing. The whole reason I picked this lot up, because this game, even with the uh, announcement of the HD release on the Wii U, Zelda Wind Waker still goes for like $40, $45 like retail. Um, so I bought the whole lot for $45. Star Wars Rogue Leader. F-Zero GX, an awesome first-party Nintendo title I did not have in my GameCube library. Another first-party Nintendo title I didn't have in the GameCube library was uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Resident Evil Zero, for some reason, all the Resident Evil games on GameCube seem to go for quite a bit of money. And Metroid Prime. I'm not sure if I have this. 
Uh, if you're counting, that was seven games. The eighth one that I got was uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, which in my opinion is probably my favorite Final Fantasy game. I know it's kind of weird and a lot of people are going to laugh at me. But uh, I remember playing that game with friends when I was younger. Uh, and I really, really liked that game. It's kind of weird because you got to play with the GBA cable. But it's a lot of fun. It's kind of frustrating. But if you get down to it, uh, I just seem to like RPGs that have little sprites that you can move around and freely play with, like uh, The Secret of Mana and stuff like that. Games like that I really like. I don't know what it is, but I just like games like that. I'm going to sneeze. A couple pickups I've had for a while that I just haven't gone over yet. I found this Super Nintendo Super Advantage at a store when I was back home for Christmas. Uh, usually on the bay, I find these things for quite a bit of money. Uh, not a shit ton, but a decent amount. And I picked this thing up for 15 um, which wasn't bad at all. I'm glad to actually have like a fight stick, arcade stick thing for the Super Nintendo. I do have a lot of fighting games, so I'm interested to see if I can get better with one of these. Uh, Ken, Ken 16 Pit, if you think this is a good uh, Super Nintendo fight stick, go ahead and let me know. If you got any other ones that you would recommend me picking up, go ahead and let me know, man, because uh, I'd really like to pick up a good one just to get get better at some fighting games I have. I like the fighting games on Super Nintendo, and I like to get better at them because I suck now. So... Hopefully, that can up my game a little bit. Also, my older brother gave me some consoles while I was back home for free. And he gave me a Nintendo 64 with jumper pack. The good thing about these is they're all really clean. Another Nintendo 64 with the jumper pack. And... A Rumble Pack memory card doohickey for Nintendo 64. And he also got me a Super Nintendo, which I currently have hooked up right now. Because I was testing it. But that was pretty awesome to get all those from him. The last lot I got, there was a guy on Craigslist again posting that he had uh, some great games on Super Nintendo. And he just said, call me, tell me what you want. And I'll see what I can do price-wise. Uh, so I emailed him, gave him my phone number. Uh, and he called me, rather. I just emailed him. But he called me, and he's just like, Yeah, I can notice from your email that you've actually bought something from me before. And he, I was it was the same guy I bought a while back when I bought that uh, Flame Orange Nintendo 64 off of. But he had some titles that I really wanted. Um, one of them was a game I used to have that I had traded away that I was looking to getting back. Uh, but he was letting me know on prices and stuff. I told him the the titles I wanted, and then I kind of messaged my friend Scuba again on the phone. I was like, man, I'm getting some good titles for a decent amount of money. Uh, and he's just like, oh, yeah, I saw that guy, too. And um, one of them was Mega Man X2. He's just like, I told him I wanted Mega Man X2. And I was like, oh, crap, I was going to buy Mega Man X2. So I submitted Mega Man X2 to my friend Scuba since I already had it uh, so he could pick it up. But the, the last three games I was left with were Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, which, again, had a Super Nintendo. I do not have that game. This is the game that I had traded away that I wanted back. Breath of Fire 2. Now, the, when I traded this game, I definitely traded it for stuff worthwhile. I traded it for Super Mario RPG and Turtles in Time uh, for this game alone, with this game's instruction booklet, but to me, that was a good trade. I definitely came out on top of that one. And the last game, which is really what I want out of this lot, uh, I know just in a video a while back, uh, I showed that I had got it, but for the price that I got this game for, I cannot pass it up, and that is Evo. Search for Eden. Uh, all three of these games just cost me a hundred bucks. I know pretty much that means like if you break it down, you paid thirty three dollars for Zelda, which is almost double with what I w would think it's worth and what it is worth in my opinion. I don't know why that game's so expensive. I wouldn't pay over 
twenty dollars for that. If you search hard enough, especially on Nintendo Age, people sell you this game for cheap. Uh, Breath of Fire 2, which I think is about a $30, $35 game, um, so about the same price on that. But if you break it down and you get Evo for $33, uh, that's insane. Because this game, for some reason, is just very, very expensive. I think it was a late life cycle title, and that's why it's so rare. Uh, again, it has the Blockbuster stickers, which I will have to do a restoration video on. I'm almost kind of glad to get uh, games with stickers on them because it'll give me some uh, cool stuff to make a content video on. It'll be nice to clean this copy of Evo up and see how good I can get it looking just to show that if you find a title, you know, you know, in the wild that has stickers or dirt or something on it and you're like, oh, it looks so crappy. Um, I want to kind of show how how good I can get something looking from the wild to my collection with just, you know, cleaning it up. And I don't know if this one will go in my collection, so it'll definitely at some point be up for trade, up for sale, mostly trade. But um, if you're interested in this, go ahead and hit me up. Um, I would like to get this game in a universal case for anybody that takes it. Coverproject.net does not have a scan for this, so I might have to buy it off of online. But um, for anybody who gets it, uh, I would like to clean it up for you, get it looking nice so it looks good in your collection. But um, give me some time to do that, but if you're definitely interested, um, go ahead and uh, let me know what you got to trade. Uh, I'll let you know what I want. But... Um, Evo, this is going to go back to someone at some point because I already have one in my collection. And I know, uh, you know, I could have saved the money and not bought it, but when you pass, you know, I would have kicked myself if I passed up a rare game like that for the price I got it for. But those were some recent pickups I had. This is just the start to some video content I would like to get uh, rolling this weekend. It's already late on a Saturday, but, um, Work has been insane. I had some bad news come to me at the middle of the week that I might not have a place to live in like two to three months because they're selling this house I'm in right now uh, to a commercial owner. So chances are they're just going to bulldoze this old damn place and build something else. Uh, so I don't know what my living situation is going to be like. I've been sick all week. Uh, I feel fine. It's just like my body's just acting up. So, I haven't had a lot of time to make content this week. I wanted to Tuesday and Thursdays, I don't have to go to class. But I wanted to make those kind of short video weeks and stuff like that. Uh, for a preview of stuff to come, I am going to do a giveaway. It's not going to be a huge giveaway. It's not really to celebrate anything. I did break 50 subs, so I guess we can call it that. Uh, I just have some stuff that I'd like to get back to some people. It's going to be some game room swag. Uh, nothing huge, but I'm going to take uh, comments, um, video responses, and everything to get entered. Uh, it's not going to be like a sub bait. I don't care if you're subscribed to me or anything. Just make a comment, leave a comment, uh, leave a video response, and everything. But I do want to give a shout out to two YouTubers that uh, have really supported my channel lately. Um, first one is going to be Pierce Jedi. He comments on a lot of videos I'm, I make, and I'm very, very thankful for it. It takes place in a lot of the conversations that happen in the comment threads of my videos. So I'm going to put a link to his video down below, or his channel, rather, down below. And another one is uh, Aaron C. Uh, this guy doesn't have a lot of subs at all, and I think he's trying to get off the ground with making more content and stuff. But he's a real appreciative guy. He doesn't have a lot of subs at all. And the last video I watched, he pretty much went through all his subscribers and thanked them all, like, a bunch and stuff. So I figured I'd give back a little bit to him and just say, you know, thank you, Aaron. Uh, it was great to have the shout-out, man, uh, even though, you know, I really, I don't know, I guess I deserve it. <laughs> but thanks a lot, dude. I'll leave a, a, a link to his channel also. Um, you know, somebody who's going to appreciate every little sub they get like that, I think uh, definitely deserves a look at. So, if 
Pierce Jedi, Aaron C., thank you guys a lot. And uh, stay tuned, because hopefully I'll be making new content soon. See you, Starside.